Hey, welcome back to our virtual tour of Israel. Today we're in the city of Jerusalem and specifically we're in the Garden Tomb. It's one of the two traditional sites where they say Jesus may have been buried. Uh, in one to, to one respect, that's really secondary, whether this is actually the place of Jesus' burial or not. This is a place that meets all the criteria that are described in Scripture, so it helps us imagine the place of Jesus' burial. Uh, behind me, you can see the entrance to the tomb. Uh, it meets what's described in Mark's Gospel, that you go into the burial chamber, and to the right is where the bodies would have been laid. Uh, all around me is this beautiful garden. Uh, it, is, it is managed by the British Bible Society, and they do a beautiful job. There's no charge. They welcome pilgrims from all over the world to this place. Uh, but it's a powerful reminder of one of the reasons that Jerusalem stands at the center of the world's attention. Uh, for Christians, Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection is at the heart of our story. It's not the group we belong to. It's not the label we wear or the congregation where we meet or the building in which we gather. Uh, our allegiance is to a person. His name is Jesus of Nazareth. We as Christians believe that he was the Messiah and we've chosen him as, as Lord of our lives. Uh, that's about authority, position, and priority. And we serve him as king. That brings a mission to all of our days above and beyond ourselves. Uh, when you visit the city of Jerusalem and you walk the streets, many of them Roman streets that date back to the first century, uh, you see the places that are described in Scripture, both in the New Testament and in the Old Testament, the Hebrew Bible. It's a powerful reminder that our God story wasn't fabricated in a pulpit. Uh, it didn't originate in the mind of a theologian. But it, it's a God message to people in the earth. The Bible is the story. It's a revelation from Almighty God, the creator of heaven and earth, for how you and I might relate to Him, have a relationship with Him, and have the benefits, the blessings that come from a relationship with Him. If you've never considered Jesus in your life, before I leave the city of Jerusalem, I want to encourage you to do that. Jesus will not diminish you. He won't take something away from you. He'll bring good things to your life. He'll bring mercy and grace, forgiveness, peace, hope, a purpose to your days. Standing in this garden where I'm reminded of all that Jesus did for us, of His suffering, of His agony, of His great love for us when He offered up His life for you and me. The least I can do is offer my life to Him as an ambassador for His kingdom. I pray you'll make that choice today. Christ in you will make a difference. No matter where you are, the power of God is present to heal, to deliver, to restore, to renew. That message began here in the city of Jerusalem, and it's still resonating from the city of Jerusalem to all the places on the globe. God bless you. I hope you've enjoyed this tour with us. Visit some of the other days. See some of the other locations. Let Israel begin to become alive in your heart. It'll change your Bible. It'll change your faith. I believe it'll change your life. God bless you from Jerusalem.